hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on another video today we're going to do my favorite video of the month which is our debt update these will be our starting numbers for august 2024 so let's go ahead and get started we have paid off two of the debts on our list our chase disney card we paid off in march and our hospital bill i believe we paid this off in may so both of these still have a zero balance for our Home Depot card, we started uh, the month with $18.84 and 57 cents. And the payments that we made were $597.33. Our new balance is $1,306.25. And the interest we gained was $19.01. Our Chase Freedom card. We made a payment of 105 so our new balance is 98.50 and 57 cent there is no interest accruing on this card at this time um our chase amazon card we started with 61.98 and we paid 70 dollars so our new balance is 61.28 and there was no interest on this either. Our Wells Fargo card started at $2,080.29. We paid $68. So our new balance is $2,102, or excuse me, $2,112.29. And there was no interest on this card either. Our joint card started at fifty or five thousand seven hundred and ninety nine dollars and twelve cent. We paid seventy dollars, so our new balance is five thousand seven hundred thirty eight dollars and ninety eight cent, and we earned nine dollars and eighty six cent back in interest. Um, Bank of America started at twelve thousand two hundred and three dollars. We paid $136, and our new balance is $12,067, and no interest. And our other Vistar card started at $11,025.34. We paid $226, and now our balance is $10,932.71. We earned $1. $133.37 in interest on this card. So, um, I've already done all the math, so if you add all these payments up, it's $1,272.33 that we paid towards our debt this month. Our new balance is $48,035.80. And the interest we gained was $162.24. Hold on one second. I'm going to go get my notebook because I want to talk to you guys about our cards and the 0% interest. Okay, so one of you guys had brought up the interest on the cards in a comment. And it prompted me to look and see when our promotions expire. So for Home Depot, um, most of the balance... Um, well, not most of it. Yeah, I guess that is most of it. $850 of this is on 0% interest until March 2025. And the rest is accruing um, interest at the 26 or 27%, whatever it is. I'm not really sure. But we're planning on paying this card off by the end of the year. So hopefully we won't need to worry about um, the interest kicking in in March. Because we're going to pay this off by the end of the year. God willing and Deep Creek don't rise, okay? Um, next is our Chase Freedom card. This is 0% until December 2025. Our Chase Amazon card. Um, this is synchrony. It ends August of this year. So this might be the one, one of the ones that I need to look at doing a balance transfer for because the 0% ends August of this year. Our Wells Fargo card is good until August 2025. 
our Vistar joint card is 1.99% until February of next year. And then Bank of America is until March of next year. And this one is accruing interest um, at a regular rate of like 17 or 18 percent. So this freedom or this um, synchrony card, I'll probably look into doing a balance transfer for to another zero percent soon since it ends in August. This one because it's not on a zero percent, so we could save that $133 in interest every month. I will probably look into doing that too. And then we have a couple that will end um, around March and. February of 2025 so I'll look at those once we get closer to it but just wanted to touch on that real quick Move this camera okay so last month our debt balance was forty nine thousand one hundred and forty five dollars and eighty nine cent and this month it is forty eight thousand thirty five dollars and eighty cent so the difference between these two is $1,110.09 .09. and that divided by our starting debt, $77,224.84 times 100 is 1.44% of the debt that we paid off this month. Um, let's see how much debt we have paid overall. 77, 224, 84, minus 48, 35, oops, 48035, 80. Um, we've paid off $29,189.04, which is what percent? thirty seven point eight percent of the balance the overall debt total we've paid over thirty seven percent of it off so that is amazing I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can do the tracker coloring I'm gonna bring Bryson in because he wants to help out he loves uh, being featured in the videos so I'm going to bring him in to do the coloring for you guys. Just, just hold on one second. All right, false alarm. Bryson is apparently in a Bed Wars match on Roblox. So he cannot, <laughs> he doesn't want to uh, get out of the match to do the coloring. So his loss, let's pick a color. Let's go with this pretty pinky purple color. All right, so... um. We currently owe thirteen oh six twenty five to Home Depot, which is almost fifty percent. We're gonna color in this whole section except for these three blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I'll fast forward you guys through it. All right, there we have it. Almost 50% done on the Home Depot card, which is super exciting. Okay, I did go ahead and mark the lines on these. Thinking Bryson was gonna do the coloring, but um, our balance for this card is 8,000. Hold on, what is this? The Amazon and the Wells Fargo, 6128. And 2012, 
8140. So this line is 8170. So we can color in this one line for August. Oh, we're not able to color in anything on this freedom card yet. Nothing on this Spy Star card. But we can do one line on our joint card. The joint card balance is 17,805, which is less than this. So we'll just color in one line. And last but certainly not least, we have our overall debt tracker here. We're at 37%, which is one more box closer to the 50% mark. Okay, there we have it. So we made some pretty good progress this month. Thanked by not having any car payments since they were on deferment due to my husband's job loss in May. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed watching me update you with the numbers and color in the trackers. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.